Hey, what's going on guys? It's Victor from Cyborg for Life, and today we're gonna to talk about the LON, or lengthening over nail method. Now, with the recall of the popular precise stride nail from Nuvasive, patients are seeking out other lengthening device options. Some, you know, choosing the non-magnetic mechanical weight-bearing nails, and others are going for the external fixator slash internal nail combo systems, like the LON method, which is what we're gonna talk about today, since it's been, you know, a highly requested topic. And so we're gonna go over what the LON system is, how it works, the devices used, the benefits and risks involved, and finally, should you consider it as a viable lengthening option or not? All right, so what is the LON system? Well, like I said, it stands for lengthening over nail, which is simply a combo method of an external fixator on the outside of your limb that literally lengthens your bone over an internal non-lengthening nail inside of your bone that stabilizes it. It was made popular by Dr. Paley in the 90s to basically help reduce the amount of time that you needed to wear the external fixator frame during your bone consolidation phase up to half, which is a lot considering even one day with that demonic device is a huge amount of time if you ask any patient who had one before, okay? Now, the internal nail is an intramedullary non-lengthening nail that helps to stabilize the bone protecting the newly formed bone regenerate, preventing things like losing length or even access deviation, as if you had the, full, the, the fixator by itself and you removed it too soon, these things could occur. So how does it work? Well, the LOM method requires two, possibly even three surgeries. The first is your typical osteotomy device and plantation surgery, where the surgeon's gonna insert the internal nail into the intramedullary canal of your bone, fixate it with screws above the break, okay? and attach the external fixator to the bone, which is actually gonna do the lengthening and stabilize the bone as well, okay? Then you do your distraction phase, and once you achieve length, then you have surgery number two, where the external fixator is removed and screws are inserted below the break to fully stabilize the bone, allowing for device-assisted weight bearing, okay? Now, finally, if you wanna get the internal nail removed, then you know once your bone is fully consolid consolidated about a year later, you can go ahead and get surgery number three and get it taken out. So the devices used in the LON method are, like I said, a solid non-lengthening intramedullary nail that fixates and preserves the natural axis of your bone during lengthening. Also, you have either a circular ring fixator or a more common monolateral rail fixator, okay, that fixates on the outside and does the lengthening. Now, when it comes to the benefits of the LOM method, you really only have one over the more modern internal nails, and that's cost, pretty much due to the price of the newer devices being much more expensive. But if you compare it to the external only devices, then you have the advantage of reducing the amount of time that you have to wear the fixator because of the internal nail will fully stabilize the bone until you hit full consolidation. Now, when we talk about the risks of the LOM method, it's very similar to the external fixator in that there's a much higher incidence of bone and pin site infection. I think Dr. Paley mentioned it's closer to 4% uh, in one of his interviews. If you look, I actually, in 1990, I performed the, performed the first LON. I'm actually the one who created the LON system, published it in 1997. Um, we did lots of stature lengthening in it with LON. <clears throat> so, uh, you're really no better off uh, and you're worse off. In other words, why wouldn't you do the precise nail rather than still put up with the X-Fix? X-Fix leaves you these deep pockmark scars, uh, which you'll then need a plastic surgeon to, to fix. Uh, and you're really not that much better off because you end up, you know, you end up with... Um, yeah, you're probably weight bearing a little more, but not much more. You have to have two, you have to have two surgeries. You have to have the length over the nail, and then you have to have screws inserted. So it's a second surgery, more cost, and then and then have the fixator removed. There's a risk of infection uh, from that process. Uh, in our first paper, there was a four percent incidence of infection. We have no infections with the uh, with the precise or the stride nail. There's also obviously a lack of range of motion due to the external fixator being a really bulky frame. And you might have things like muscle tethering, meaning your muscles get really scar tissued up and creating adhesions and stiffness as well. Uh, scarring is also a big problem for a lot of people who get this done because you get these deep scars. And according to some patient experiences that I've heard from, they basically said that they have more pain on average than just having an internal lengthening nail by itself. But then you say, Vic, I get how it works. I understand the risks. I can handle the pain and the scars, but I don't wanna break the bank for an internal device. 
is LON a safe enough option for me to go through with lengthening or not? And my answer would be, it depends on which bone you plan to get it done for, okay? For example, if you're thinking about LON for the femurs, then you might wanna think again, because unless you're a kid whose soft tissues respond and heal better than adults, or you have some sort of deformity or discrepancy, you know, and the surgeon sees it fit to use the LON, then doing the lengthening over nail for cosmetic stature lengthening of the femurs has been made obsolete and you shouldn't do it, okay? I know there are some popular cost-effective cost options out there, um, but several surgeons that I've spoken to don't recommend the LON method for the femurs for stature lengthening for safety reasons, okay? Now, LON for the tibias is a bit more acceptable because of the fact that there's less muscle musculature surrounding the bone and there's less chance of muscle tethering and long-term range of motion effects. Now, if you're dead set on getting max height via the femurs, but don't have enough money to pay for a more expensive option, I suggest you continue to save up or possibly apply for a personal medical loan to pay it off, you know, because you're gonna have a much easier time lengthening if you do versus if you go for the LON method of the femurs, okay? All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I know that this was a pretty controversial topic and I'm gonna get some major flack for it, but go ahead and let me know your thoughts on the LON method below. Are you considering it as a lengthening option? If so, are you considering it for the risky femurs or the safer tibias? Also, if you found the video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until next time, this is Victor from Cyborg for Life, signing out. Peace.